everyone, and I stay lean. My name is Emeline, and you're watching ETA to Z on Arts TV. Today, I am standing in front of the monument to the Lion of Judah. About a century ago, in 1929, Empress Zeudi II and Prince Regent Tafari Mekonen, who was to become Haile Selassie, inaugurated Addis Ababa's first train station at this very place. The previous emperor, Menelik II, wanted to give his empire an opening to the Red Sea, but he passed away before the completion of the works. It took 20 years for the French to build the 780 kilometer long railroad linking Addis Ababa to Djibouti city. Today, we're gonna meet the last living memories of the railway. Let's embark on the tracks of Ethiopian history. Bonjour des bébés. Alors ça va Ça va, merci et toi Moi ça va, c'est très bien, ça va. Dis-moi. You never get tired of telling people about this train that Ethiopians hold so dear Je n'ai jamais avec l'histoire, je me défère avec les Ethiopiens. I never get tired of telling the story of the Ethiopian railway because it's such a good memory to me. I have lived in this neighborhood since I was young. I could hear the train whistle from the age of three. You are an imperial car specialist. Ouais. Today, the imperial cars are no longer here. They are located in the presidential palace, which will soon be open to the public. What was your favorite story to tell tourists? Of the four imperial cars, two were built by the Société Franco-Belge. They were gifts from Charles de Gaulle. And the two other cars, which were gifts from Queen Elizabeth, were built in Paris. The cars had the ventilation system, a kitchen, and the dining room. They were vintage materials on which were written air conditioning in French and Amharic. When Ethiopians come to see this imperial car, when they see it, they are very happy. Why did they write in French and Amharic? The bodyguard doesn't speak French. If the mechanic gets sick, he can touch the button. I also enjoy telling the story of the kitchen. When tourists came to visit the imperial cars, they were very happy to see the kitchens that work uh, with wood fire, diesel and electricity. Uh, that's funny, right? And then there are the rooms. The room of Queen Elizabeth, the room of Emperor Haile Selassie, and the room of Menen, the Empress of Ethiopia. In the middle, what do we have? A toilet made of marble. Des toilettes de luxe. Luxury toilets. Avec d'eau qui tombe. Le quatrième, que j'oublie pas. The fourth anecdote I will never forget. Queen Elizabeth came to Ethiopia for three days. Uh, two days in Addis, one day in Massawa, Asmara, and she left. But Haile Selassie, he had been to London 15 times. The imperial cars were a gift for Haile Selassie's 25th birthday. That's a great story. I will never forget it in my life. Et est-ce que tu as l'impression? Do you feel that this story is being told enough to Ethiopians nowadays? Connu des Éthiopiens. C'est passé. It's not enough. Aujourd'hui. Today, the former railway workers are the guardians of this memory. Aren't you afraid that this history will vanish with the loss of elders? I am a little bit afraid, but I have my tactics. I collect a lot of documents. Documents, photos, tickets, and I ask questions to the old railway workers. There is the Railway Men's Club. All the retired railway workers meet there to play pétanque. I ask them and I write. Shall we go to the Railway Men's Club? D'accord. <laughs> D'accord, merci. Ah. 
ça va Ça va, ça va Ça va, ça va, ça Merci beaucoup, ça va, Merci, moi aussi. ça va, comment ça va Ça va, 5 sur 5. Où sommes-nous euh, Nous sommes, euh, c'est-à-dire au club des cheminots. We are at the railway men's club. This is the petang pitch. All the bulls land here. It was built by France. Le club des cheminots, c'est l'un des... The railway men's club is one of the few places in Addis Ababa where you can hear Ethiopians speaking French. Was learning the language of Molière mandatory to become a railway worker? Obligatoire pour devenir cheminot. Pour travailler, oui. To work, yes. To be hired at the French Ethiopian Railway, it was mandatory. What was your job back then? I am a senior technician, second degree engineer in electromechanics. How many years did you work on the old railway? 22 years. What do you remember about this train? I always say that I am a Frenchman. That means my way of living, the way I speak, the way I play. Even the way of playing pétanque, which is another legacy of France. Yes, and the conversations, the conversations in the French way. The jokes? The jokes. I'm free and democratic. I have been nicknamed the devil. Why are you called the devil? First of all, I tell the truth. A jerk for me is a jerk. A thief is a thief. I say it to his face. So you have inherited this freedom of thought. That's it. There are many French tourists who come to see us. It was so fun. We were very happy. Every Frenchman put his feet here. And since then, nothing? After the Covid, no. Perhaps we will make other French people want to come and see you. If a French person ever comes here, 100 person he comes here at the petang pitch. Between us, who plays better between the French and the Ethiopians? Ethiopians. Why? Because we practice every single day. For example, I play four hours a day. So you are a champion. I am the champion. Do you point or shoot? I point. Merci beaucoup. Merci, Shemsu. I now invite you to travel back in time to a city that would probably not have existed without this historic railroad. Today we are in Diredawa, a town that exists thanks to the development of the initial Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway. The railway was supposed to pass through the commercial hub of Harar, about 50 kilometers from here. But due to the complexity of the terrain and high development costs, Diredawa became the critical stop on the line. Diredawa used to bear the name of Addis Harar, the new Harar, and is now the second largest city in Ethiopia. Larger than Harar itself, let's visit the Diredawa train station inaugurated back in 1917. Yes, it's me. Sedga, you know this station very well, don't you? Yes, I grew up here. I grew up here by the railroad. And you were a train driver. I drove the passenger train and the freight train to Djibouti and Addis Ababa. Tell me about the railway time. It's nice and bad at the same time. Why? Because there used to be a lot of trains here. Eight trains were going out per day. Passenger and freight trains. Four trains to Djibouti and four to Addis Ababa. 
Donc, on conduit ces trains. So we drove eight trains per day. There were 20 drivers and 20 assistant drivers. We drove in pairs. 20 air conducteurs. Nous, on conduit per. We transported coffee, vegetables. The main thing is cat, because Djiboutians want cat. Les Djiboutians, ils veulent la cat. What is cat? La cat, c'est chat. We chew the green leaves. These green leaves have psychoactive properties. Yeah, it's like a drug. So we transported coffee, vegetables, cat, even dromedaries. There is a dromedary wagon. Today, the old train leaves from this Deredawa station once a week and goes to the end of the line, to Dewele, its final stop, at the border with Djibouti. Yes, before there were two trains on Tuesday morning and Saturday morning, but the railway was not clean and comfortable, so we removed one per day. There is now only one passenger train per week on Saturday morning. Seul samedi matin, il a un train qui sort par semaine. Combien de temps ça prend d'aller? How long does it take to get from Dewele to Deredawa and the other way around? Avant, quand, quand le travail est très très Before, when the railway was clean and comfortable, from here to Dewele, it takes about five hours. À peu près cinq heures. Because the passenger trains were running at 80 kilometers per hour. For the freight train, we drove at 50 kilometers per hour. And now the railroad is not clean and it is not comfortable. So we're exposed to derailment if we go around 40 to 50 kilometers per hour. So how fast can you drive? 20 kilometers, 25 kilometers. 20 to 30 kilometers because it is not comfortable. Because it dances like this. Our departure here is at 6 a.m. and we return around 6 p.m. from Dewele back to Deredawa. Okay, Emily. Would you like to visit the workshops? It would be my pleasure. Okay, I'm available. Let's go. <laughs>There are no renovations because we are short of money. There is not enough money to paint the locomotives or the wagons. As you can see, look in front of you, or behind too. They are under the sun, so they are rusty. They are out of order now. This French Ethiopian railroad, many French people worked here in Ethiopia, so it's part of the French government's legacy, the French people's legacy. Many workers are well experienced. We have worked for more than 18 years, 20 years, 35 years. We've dispersed looking for better jobs and a better salary. So to revive this railroad, inform the government of France and the French Minister of Transport, We are ready to work. What do you think of the train built by the Chinese whose tracks run parallel to the old railway line? With the Chinese train, there is no communication between the people of Ethiopia, between Djibouti and Addis Ababa. There are 36 stops, so the old railway brought to life every 36 station. Some traders sold oranges, bananas and mangoes. The Chinese train does not give service in each stop, it passes through the desert.
You also told me that they did not make use of the experience of the former Ethiopian railway workers at all. We asked to be transferred there to work with the Chinese. They never agreed. They refused to take us. They brought other workers. That's a pity. Yes, it's a pity because the old railway workers are sad. We are Ethiopians and we are experienced. So we must work with the Chinese. I have almost 10 years of experience. Some people have 20 years of experience, so they refused. We're sorry. The Chinese train does not give us an advantage. Does it make you sad? Very sad. I'm not the only one to think this way. It is all the railway workers, from Djibouti to Addis Ababa. Okay, au revoir. À la prochaine. Au revoir. Please come back. It would be my pleasure. Merci. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of ETA2Z. See you all next time.